What is going on everybody? Matta222 here today bringing you guys another figure review. Today we are looking at the Masterpiece knockoff smokescreen. Uh, so that's pretty, yeah. It's, well, I mean that pretty much says it all. So I have the, ma I have the knockoff of the Masterpiece smokescreen. We're going to check it out, see if it's good, see if it's worth buying the knockoff or if you should probably just invest in the real one. Um, so look at the packaging, Transformers Masterpiece MP19, which we got that uh, MP44 3.0 Optimus Prime coming out. So MP19 feels like it was like a long time ago. And then nice sh shot of the figure in both his modes at the front. Nissan, I don't know anything about cars. So Nissan Fairlady 280ZT. I don't know. I don't know cars, guys. So none of that means anything to me. Uh, uh there's a sticker i don't know what any of that says got a smoke screen right there that then on the back some lot of writing that i can't read and then there's optimus prime and some other stuff going on so yeah that is pretty much the packaging uh all right looking at the figure in his alt mode uh we're not off to a great start because i already broke him in two places uh well, I didn't, I didn't break him. I mean, he came broken. So uh, you can see right here on the side, this little window. When I, As soon as I got him out of the packaging, the peg basically just snapped. Uh, so, I mean, that's kind of unfortunate. But when you buy knockoffs, that's, I guess, the risk you take. Let's see if I can get it in there. I don't even think, yeah, I can't even get it to stay in. So that broke, uh, which is unfortunate. And as you can see right there, the window uh, broke as well. So, I mean, already we're not off to a great start with this knockoff. Uh, but again, that, that could be just the one I got. That So that doesn't necessarily mean... I've, wa I've seen a couple reviews where that was not the case. Uh... So I don't want to hold that against the knockoff of this figure, which actually the alt mode itself is really nice. So a lot of like you got like soft fever, uh, the other one, it's a soft fever too. Huck disturbance. I don't know what any of that stuff is, but smoke tactics, a lot of writing, a lot of stuff. I think it's like a, supposed to be like a race car, if I'm not mistaken. Bottom looks okay. Not too kibbly on the bottom. You got Smoke Tactics right there too. Autobot logo nicely displayed on the front and uh, focus. That kind of doesn't look like anything particular to me, like that there, or it doesn't like it doesn't mean anything to me at least. But all in all, all modes cool. I mean, really cool, despite it being a KO and it, it drives really well. It's just yeah, it's just uh, the fact that the little side window and the side mirror snapped uh again don't don't take that as a strike against buying this ko because that, that could have just been mine it could have just been my mail carrier that was careless uh, but nonetheless like i said alt mode's really cool the tires look good i like that they're painted uh back looks good he's got the spoiler there he fits together really well so all in all to fight those two things which like i said I don't want to hold it against the figure. Uh, let's go ahead and get this guy transformed. And then we'll take a look at his robot mode. And kind of see how worth it the robot mode is. So, uh, yeah. Let's, let's, let's do it. Alright. So, there we go. There he is uh, in his robot mode. Now, for a knockoff, he's not too bad. I mean, the robot mode is... is I, I think it's decent enough. Uh, the only kind of flaw is his legs and whatnot is really loose. But aside from that, I say he looks pretty nice. He stands well. Um, articulation, the only thing, maybe other thing, is he doesn't snap together as well as I would like. Uh, more specifically, the head. But. Yeah. But if, if that's, I mean, if that's something you could overlook. I mean, he's going to look nice on the shelf. So head moves side to side. Arms move like that. And then the arms move. So you can see the 
they move at this part and then they hinge at this part move forward hence rotate he does have a waist twist to assist for transformation you can't really use it though when he's in uh Wi Fi, you can't use it the best when he's in robot mode uh, because it's not supposed to be an articulation point as much as it's for the transformation. But kicks this far forward, kicks that far back, bend in the knee. The feet do kind of, kind of have ankle rockers, so that is something. And then, like I said, bend in the knee. Uh, Despite the fact that he's a little bit kind of wobbly, he does stand okay. I don't think you're going to have... <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I don't think you're going to have any problems standing him on the shelf. And I think he looks really solid. Uh, he comes with a couple of accessories. So he has his main gun, which is like a rifle. And his hands, his fingers are basically hinged. So you can just open that up and... Slide that in there. And then there we go. He holds his blaster. He holds his blaster. Not terribly. And then we got these two. I forgot two. You could, you could hook the guns up on his uh, alt mode. I, I should, like these two hook up to the front of the car. And that one hooks up to the roof. Um, so you got these two kind of shoulder cannons. These are a little bit finicky. So basically... They just go on these pegs here, and basically just how you have to do it, uh, you just kind of slide them. You just kind of slide them in, like so. These ones I find are a little bit finicky, and then you have to get them to kind of peg in. So, um, so I'll show you guys those as they're done because they're really finicky to do. Really, really difficult to do on, on camera. Not, not, not so, it's not so much on camera, but it's just they're really tricky. So you gotta have the figure like, at least I do, I gotta have the figure like close to, close to me. <coughs> so there we go. That's what they look like after they're attached. Like I said, they just peg on they just connect at the back and then you just kind of connect them this one doesn't like to go down this one likes to pop up a little bit so all in all uh all in all as far as a knockoff goes i don't have a lot of knockoff transformers so it's hard so it's hard for me to say i think this one's decent i think i got it for like 30 dollars shipped so for $30 uh I I'm okay with it like I mean uh, he's definitely gonna stand on my shelf and look nice and fill in that spot but I mean it is kind of a cool figure so it might be worth investing in the in the real version the non-knockoff version but that's that's up to you but if you're on a budget if you're on a budget uh then this one I think will definitely do the trick. And I think he's going to look really good standing on the shelf. Alt mode is really cool. Transformation is pretty simple. So I'm going to recommend that you guys pick this up. Uh, or at least pick up both versions or pick up either version. If you can't afford the regular version, which was the case with me. Not that I couldn't afford it, but uh, I had lots of other stuff to buy. So I just kind of went the cheaper knockoff route. I'm happy with this. So I say pick up either version. But that is it, guys. I hope you were happy with this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, guys. Guys, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Just hit that subscribe button because that is the best way to make sure you don't miss anything. Tap that notification bell. That's going to increase your chances of not missing anything, guys, because I upload a new video almost pretty much every day. So do, do those two things. I would appreciate it, but feel free not to do that that's up to you uh social media links as always guys are in the description head over to facebook check out the sanctuary page make sure you come say hey other than that i don't got nothing else to say guys so thank you again have yourselves a great day and i will catch you next time with another figure review and bye